Welcome to this configured terminal presentation. My name is David Bombal, CCIE 11023 and Master ASE. In this video I'd like to show you how to configure static routes on HP E-series switches. When you have multiple layer 3 switches or switches with routers, you need to enable static or dynamic routing. In this video I'm going to show you how to configure static routing. In another video I'll show you how to configure RIP so that you can use dynamic routing. Let's get started. On this topology the Cisco router is connected via DSL to the internet. So it has internet connectivity and if we set up routing correctly in this topology all of our devices should be able to access the internet. NAT has been configured on the Cisco router. So if I tell NAT to the Cisco router from my recording machine and log in and let me just change the name to make it easier to see what's going on. So this is a 857 Cisco router. If we ping yahoo.com from the Cisco router you can see that a DNS resolution was done and the ping succeeds. Now if I tell net to the HP router, so the 5406 login and ping Yahoo notice it says that no DNS server is configured. So IP DNS let's configure a server address with a priority of 1 in this case and we'll specify the DNS server as 208 67 quadruple 2 quadruple 2 and let's try and ping yahoo.com again. Notice it says that the DNS server is not responding because if we look at the routing table there is no route to the internet. This device only knows about all the directly connected interfaces and then it has a rejection of a route to its loopback. So what we need to type is IP route and in this case we're going to specify default route and we're going to specify our default gateway as the Cisco router. Now let's see if we can ping yahoo.com. Let's see if we can ping Yahoo's address. As you can see there, we are able to ping Yahoo's address from the router. So this is more than likely a DNS issue. And now you can see we are able to ping via the domain name. Let's try another name like CNN.com. So from the Cisco router, ping CNN.com. So you can see the pings are not allowed. So we need to find a server that allows pings. So let's try www.configureterminal.com. So on the Cisco router that works. Let's try on the HP router. Try again. You can see it succeeds. So this is probably just DNS taking a while to respond. And you can see that that's succeeding without a problem. So what we've successfully been able to accomplish is get the HP router to ping devices on the internet. The Cisco router is configured for NAT. So the HP router is being NATed onto the internet. Let's try doing the same thing on Edge 2. So once again on the Cisco router, if we ping yahoo.com, you can see that the IP address is 98.139.180.149. So I'll tell net to 10.0.0.102 and let's ping Yahoo's address which once again is 
180, 149. And you can see the ping succeeds. Now if we try and ping the DNS name, you'll notice it doesn't work because we haven't got the DNS server configured. But if we look at the routing table, you can see that Edge 2's default gateway is actually the HP router. So if we do a trace root 298, 139, 180, 149, you can see that it goes firstly to the HP router, then to the Cisco router, and then is routed onto the internet. So to configure DNS, we type IP, DNS, server address. So in this case, it's going to be 208, 67, 222, rather priority 1, 208, 67, 222, And now when we ping yahoo.com, try again you can see the ping is successful. The DNS resolution was done. We were able to connect to a DNS server on the internet and then do a name resolution and then ping yahoo.com. Now the reason it works is because the networking devices are in VLAN 1 and the Cisco router knows about VLAN 1. But can the Cisco router ping the PCs, PC 1, 2 and 3 which are on different VLANs. So on the Cisco router, can we ping 10, 0, 10, 250, for example? And you'll notice the ping fails because the Cisco router doesn't know about those subnets. So typing the command show IP route on the Cisco router, you'll notice it's got a default route to the internet. And apart from that, it only knows about directly connected interfaces. The C here denotes directly connected interface. There are no other routes. So if I type the command IP route, so very similar to the E series, 10.0.10.0 with a mask, and specify the next hop as the HP router, let's see if we can ping the PC. And notice the ping succeeds. By the same token, IP route 10.0.20.0, so in other words, VLAN 20, pushing the traffic to the HP router, can we now ping 10.0.20.251? And as you can see, the ping succeeds. So lastly, IP route 10.0.20, VLAN 2, going to the HP router, ping 10.0.2.252 and the ping succeeds. So let's test internet connectivity from PC2. PC2's default gateway is the HP router, in other words the 5406 switch. If configured correctly, this PC should be able to surf to websites on the internet. So I'm going to open up a VNC connection to 10.0.10.250, log in, Open up a web browser and let's go to www.yahoo.co.uk. As you can see, we're able to surf successfully to yahoo.com. We could go to other websites like cnn.com for argument's sake. And as you can see, we are able to surf to cnn.com. So in other words, our network is working. The default gateway of PC2 is set to the 5406, which is acting as the router for the HP infrastructure. The HP 5406 has a default route to the Cisco 857 router, which has a default route to the internet. So traffic traverses through Edge 1 on VLAN 10. So untagged traffic on this port tagged traffic on the trunk, into VLAN routing on the router, traffic is sent as untagged traffic on VLAN 1 to the Cisco router, the traffic is then natted on the Cisco router, so network address translation takes place, translating the internal IP address 
to the external IP address on the DSL interface and the traffic is then forwarded to the internet for internet routing. When traffic returns, it's natted back to the internal IP address sent to the HP router on VLAN 1. Inter-VLAN routing takes place on the router. It's sent as a tagged frame on VLAN 10 to Edge 1, which then strips the tag and sends it as a normal Ethernet frame to PC2. We have successfully built this network with inter-VLAN routing, network address translation, and static routing. Now to show you some of the options available with static routing, on HPE series switches. I'm going to create a loopback interface on Edge 2 and give it an IP address of quadruple 2 slash 32 and do the same on the router giving it an IP address of quadruple 4 slash 32. Now these two switches are layer 3 switches. They can support routing protocols and static routes. So I'm going to introduce two additional networks into the topology and let's see if we can enable full connectivity on the devices. So on the router at the moment, if we try and ping quadruple two, it won't work because that address doesn't exist. Telnetting to edge two, ping quadruple two, doesn't work because once again that interface doesn't exist. So I'm going to type conf t interface loopback 0, give it an IP address of quadruple 2. Now notice the address is alive, but I cannot ping quadruple 4 because that address needs to be configured on the HP router. So on the HP router, doesn't work. Notice the address works, but the HP router can still not ping quadruple 2. Notice there's a timeout. So on the router, exit out of the loopback configuration, type IP route quadruple 2 slash 32. The next hop in this example is 10.0.0.102. So for the router to get to this network, quadruple 2, it needs to send the traffic to this IP address, which is on VLAN 1. So the router's next hop is edge 2 to get to this loopback. Hit enter. Now if the router pings quadruple 2, notice it works. On edge 2, type the command IP route quadruple 4 slash 32 edge 2's next hop IP address to get to that network is the router's IP address 10.0.0.100. So, notice edge 2 can now ping the router. So what have we accomplished? Well, we created two loopbacks to mimic a separate network in the topology. So this is a separate logical network on edge 2. This is a separate logical network on the router. We created the loopbacks and then I created the static routes to enable connectivity. Will the Cisco router be able to ping those addresses? And the answer is no, because the Cisco router doesn't know about those networks. So just to prove that, show IP route on the Cisco router. Notice it's got a static default route. It's got static routes to 10.0.10.0, 10.0.20, and 10.0.20. But it doesn't have a route to quadruple 2. So that's going to fail. So on the Cisco router, IP route, quadruple 2, Cisco don't support slash 32, so we're going to do it this way. And the Cisco's next hop to get to that network is 102. Notice the Cisco router is in the same subnet as edge 2 on VLAN 1. So we can point it directly to edge 2. On Cisco devices, if you want to be able to ping from global config mode, you have to use the command do in front. So do ping quadruple 2. And notice it succeeds. Once again, you lose the first ping because the router has to op for the MAC address 
and that causes the ping to time out. By the same token, IP right, quadruple four, 10, 0, 0, 100. Do ping quadruple four. Notice the ping succeeds. So we have full connectivity. By the same token, on the Cisco router, we could create a loopback. So interface loopback zero and give it an IP address of, let's say, quadruple five. So on the HP router, we'd have to do something similar. So IP route, and we can use the same format as you do on Cisco, pointing it to the Cisco router. So now notice the HP router is able to ping the Cisco router's loopback. By the same token, on Edge 2, using the alternate format, or rather without the dot or period at the end, notice the ping succeeds. So now we were able to create a loopback on the Cisco router and ping that loopback from the HP switches. Just remember, a loopback creates a logical separate network on a device such as a router or switch. That concludes this video showing you how to configure static routes in an HP E-Series environment. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to enable RIP, which is a dynamic routing protocol. Thank you for watching.